Hi, good evening. Um, I'm Dave G2DS, um, and one of the things that I like to do is um, is a, a radio thing called Summits on the Air, and uh, one of the radio club that I'm a member of, uh, Stockport Radio Society, um, asked me what I carry in my my bag for doing Summits on the Air. So uh, here's a quick run through. It's only intended to be a fairly quick and dirty video, just to uh, just to sort of show the, the the items that I take with me and I consider to be um, key things. Um, I'm I'm not going to show you things like a, a flask and a bottle of water because you know I, I, I'm not just going to show you that for the sake of it. But um, typically, I would carry a flask of tea. And, um, and and uh, about a litre or two of water with me when I'm when I'm up on the hill and as well but I just want to show you some of the um, tech stuff and some of the um, other items like shelter and things like that that I take with me so without much ado um, I'm going to run through stuff so um, first things first this is the bag that I use um, it is a uh, Rush 24 um, it is uh, by a company called 511 Tactical and you'll notice that there's all these webbing straps on the front of, uh, of the bag and this allows you to put additional items on the side, the front, various other places and I bought this because um, it's, it, it, it really is very configurable for, um, for, for, for use with, um, with, with outdoor equipment. So. It's not the lightest of bags, even when it's empty, but it does have the advantage that it's really configurable. Um, and for me, that's really key. I'm not too bothered about the weight, particularly because I'm used to carrying much heavier packs than this. Um, but for me, this is really good because it just allows me to get everything that I can carry on the outside to the outside of the pack. And it allows me to keep things like the radio and the antenna and, 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 and various other bits inside. So, as I say, it's uh, it's a good pack. In my opinion, it's a good pack for, for this type of uh, this type of thing. So, on the outside of the pack, first of all, I carry handheld radio, so which is I think is quite useful for as you're walking up and down the hill. You'll sometimes hear hear other other summits, other people. It just gives you an opportunity to just shout up and say, look, I'm going to be at the top of the hill in the next half an hour. You might want to listen out for me. And also, if they're on a summit and they're just about to go down, you might just be able to bag a quick uh, quick one pointer, you know, for, for as a chaser. So it's not just about um, other people hitting you while you're on the hill. It's about you being able to, uh, to, to be able to... Um, get other people their point as well so it's just just um, something that I quite like to carry um, the FT2 is quite good because it's got APRS you'll hear tons of APRS if you've got that running up on the hill it'll just be going constantly um, because obviously the height you get um, a, lot, a lot of uh, pull a lot of signals in so outside of the pack what I've got things that I really need to have access to quite quickly so in this side, I've got items like just a bit of a fleece, just long sleeve fleece. It's Ron Hill, so it's uh, just going to keep me nice, uh, just an additional layer if I'm getting cold. Not so much quick access to, but um, this is me HF antenna, which I pretty much uh, don't really use for summits on the air. Um, I tend to uh, do most of my work on two meters. But um, I, I have a Sota Beams 2040, um, so I can do set, um, uh, 7 megs, 14 megs with that. Um, but I predominantly do uh, 2 metres FM, uh, and I carry the antenna for that inside the bag itself. You'll see why in a minute. So, pop that back in, in the bag for now. Just don't want to clutter everything up. And the advantage of these side pouches is really really quick and easy to load and unload so if I need to uh, get a, a, a jacket out or something that I'm carrying in these bags I can get it out fairly quick and put it back fairly quick as well and there's plenty of 
plenty of capacity for these so you can really stuff things in. Carry a poncho, which is quite good. Um, this is a convertible, um, so I can use it as a poncho with a hood. It'll carry, it'll go over the top of my pack. Um, and I can also use it as a ground sheet or I can use it as a tar. So really, really flexible little piece of kit. It's about 15 quid or so. Um, and I've had this for ages. It, it, it's really, really good and really flexible for, um, for walking. Not to be underestimated. You can spend 300 quid, 400 quid on a jacket. That's 15 quid. Does the job admirably. And it's really waterproof. It's not just, you know, it's not just pretend waterproof. These are quite good. Mont uh, these are um, Mont Montaigne. Um, I bought them for cycling, but they're a, um, they're a, a really lightweight Pertex um, pair of uh, over trousers. So, you know, you've got your normal trousers for walking on the hill, and then these things will just pull over the top of them and uh, keep you nice and dry. And they are fantastic. They, you know, they sort of pack down into the size of a golf ball. I haven't bothered to pack them down that tightly, but you know they're, they're, they're really useful. Nothing worse than being out and walking and having wet legs, as in my view, just really, you know, it's something to be avoided. So, also finally on the outside, right at the bottom there, Summit 4 Super Light Bothy. That is going to save your life, the life of other people, if you get stuck on the hill. This thing is not to be, not to be underestimated. It is, it's fantastic. We used to use these when I when I was in mountain rescue team. We'd have twelve person bothies, and they are just awesome. If you come across somebody who's fallen, um, you know, or you've fallen yourself, or even if you're just doing an activation on the radio, um, these things are great. Um, basically, you just kind of throw it over. It's just like a big sort of. Um, it's just it's just like a sort of a big cover and it'll go over four people and their bags that is fantastic it only weighs ounces but it just makes so much difference if you're out in the hill it's pouring down spory under that jobs are good and it uh, makes the difference between you all being alive and you not being alive so um really really worthwhile when when, when i when as i say when i did mountain rescue we we get to a casualty chuck that over them you know everybody around the outside just keeping the uh, keeping the thing down all outside it of course and then inside you'd have the people who are doing the uh, work on the casualty and it just get warm really warm inside very very quickly so it was really nice sort of space to work in as well um, also on the outside hat really important keep the wind off keep the rain off keep the sun off everything this is a, a Rowan um, lightweight cap it will uh, dry really fast um, and uh, yeah I really like that I used to have a blue one as well but I unfortunately lost it somewhere uh, along the trail so uh, unfortunately that uh, I just got the beige one now um, also on the outside I've got another couple of another couple of pouches for various things um, I'm still trying to work out what to put in these I think um, just, I just wanted to put stuff in for, uh, these things high up for, for a bit of balance because uh, otherwise it just looks too wide at the bottom. Um, got some tape for the antenna, you'll see why in a minute. Um, and then on this side, um, I've actually just got a pair of uh, headphones, in ear headphones, just a cheap pair. You don't want to be worried about breaking those while you're out. Um, and what I've found is the headphones are brilliant for summits on the air because you know you're listening very closely and you want to try and keep the um, all the wind noise out and everything so they're uh, really useful. So additionally on the outside of the pack one of the things I like about this thing has got tons of pockets and loads of little spaces separately to where to separate and, and store your gear. So in this side I've got various cables for power, um, so, um, some some uh, some stuff for uh, for uh, USB C, USB B. Um, there's an iPhone cable in there, that type of thing, just to you know pretty much cover all eventualities. It's no good having all the batteries in the world and not having anything to connect them to your devices, right? 
Um, on this side, I've got Leatherman Multi Tool, and this one's particularly good, I think, because it's the uh, one with the um, with the, the self the adjusting pliers. So they're really good. If you need to do any running repairs in the field, fantastic. The, the pliers are probably the most useful bit of that. I'd, I'd probably do without the uh, the knife bit um, and, and just have the pliers. Um, it's a buff for uh, just, well, you can wet it, keep yourself cool. You can put it around your neck, keep yourself keep yourself warm. It's just something uh, you know, it's a little bit of an option. You can wipe your forehead with it, all that type of good stuff down the main part of the uh, pack or the one of the main pockets all sorts of stuff in this and one of the great things about this um, about this uh, rush tactical is it's got lots of little separators for the gear as I was saying so a um, pair of uh, field binoculars just a lightweight folding pair they've been quite good sometimes you're just on the top of the hill having a brew or whatever and you just want to have a look at a bit of wildlife or you spot somebody on another summit and you can uh, you can just uh, have a have a little look across got a couple of uh, bungee straps for uh, attaching the uh, fishing pole to uh, various things uh, it's quite useful for if you find a uh, a uh, fence post or something like that to attach the antenna to. Um, both the boots. So if you, you want to go in and uh, go into a pub or something like that, and you just want to keep your walking boots on. So it's quite nice to uh, to have a pair of overshoes, um, just to uh, prevent yourself from uh, from uh, messing up the floor. Um, a bit of paracord. Never underestimate the uh, benefit of carrying a bit of paracord with you. It's all useful for all sorts of stuff. You never know what you're going to need it for, um, but it's better that you've got it than uh, than than not. So uh, some bin bags in case I find some rubbish up on the hill that I can take down with me. Um, I've got uh, various extra pens just in case your pen runs out, and I've got a. Uh, a torch, this is the uh, Little Larry, um, it's just a three AAA cell LED torch with a magnet on it and stuff. It's really quite nice for uh, just providing a little bit of extra light if you need it. Um, most of the activation and most of the walking I'll be doing is in the daytime so I don't really need a torch but it's better to have it than not. Cheap little book to uh, do, your, do your logging tried all sorts of apps for doing summits on the air and, 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 and logging and I've got to say I've never found one yet that actually I think is is, is ideal so um, although I've tried a few but always tend to come back to pen and paper because it doesn't matter how you enter the data that you, you when you're hearing somebody chatter in a way um, you, you can write it down in any order you want in a book and you and you can then just pull it back out again later and put it into a log so as I say paper logs for me that's my preference but it's a personal thing you know a um, little waterproof pouch two things in there one USB USB B USB C power supply um, really good because I can power the radio off that I can power my phone off it I can power a torch off it whatever I need to do so that's really good um, and uh, also a book called Food for Free, which is quite a neat little uh, book on foraging. Um, and uh, although I'm not going around eating stuff, I like to uh, use it to identify edible edible plants and things like that. So that's the main section, of, uh, the, the main front pocket of the bag. So that's all the outside pockets covered. So inside the bag itself, this front bit will come right down. I'm not going to take it all the way down, I just want to get the kit out and I'll show you. So, Montane windshirt, really good. If, if you've got another coat, these are a great little thing. They're not cheap, but they, um, they keep you dry and they dry quickly. 
tracer battery, life EPO 4, 7 amp hour, um, really good piece of kit. Probably don't need this, probably get away with 3 amp hour or maybe not even carrying one at all. But I've never run out of batteries yet, so good piece of kit. And that'll power the radio for hours and hours and hours. Typically, summits on the air is something that's over and done within an hour. So you know you're not you're not going to run out of batteries if you've if you've got one of those with you. Um, uh, another top just to uh, keep me nice and warm. So I'll tend to layer up. Um, so I'll have a t-shirt. Um, I'll have a uh, sort of a, um, another sort of intermediate layer, um, a fleece, and then a waterproof, and they'll all be going on and coming off in sort of just to suit what I need to do. Um, I'll get to the radio soon enough. Jet boil, neat piece of kit. The amount of size and weight really useful. You can make yourself a nice hot brew with that. It's a bit debatable whether you'd carry that if you know if you've got some um, dry grass. Um, but it's certainly in winter is not really a major problem, and it's 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 not it's not actually light in the ground. It's um, you know any any um, flame is decent distance off the floor anyway. Anyway, so getting back to it, I may have covered on the this on the last one, um, but essentially um, this is a um, antenna for two meters. Um, this is a radiating bit. You've got um, ugly ballon with uh, that's wound around a bit of um, sink waste pipe there, um, and then you've got about sort of six seven meters of uh, coax to take it away. Just gives you the opportunity to, to be a little bit away from the uh, the you know the fishing pole or whatever that you're putting it on. Um, radio itself, um, I've got a I've got a couple of radios that I like to use for hill. I've got a FT817. Um, this is the ICOM IC705. I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining to you why this is a great radio for the hill. I think it's great. I'll let you make your own mind up. Um, there's loads of videos out there, people explaining it. I might come back and do another one at some point, but for me, this is my go-to radio now for uh, doing uh, doing hill work. various cables so I've got cable for power I've got a USB cable there for connecting the USB power up to um, the USB power supply that I showed before so you can um, you can operate the uh, IC705 data you can do audio over um, over it into a computer, um, you, all sorts of things. But you can also power it um, at a push off the USB power supply. So it's got its own internal battery, but you can also charge it up while you um, while you're using it. Even charge it up while it's in the bag if you need to. But I wouldn't really be uh, that keen on doing that. So I confess, Mike great piece of kit really nice um really nice audio off that um as i say I like to now use the headphones because i think they um they provide a little bit of a um better sort of uh, opportunity to hear people's call signs and what they're saying and it's uh, a little bit less intrusive for other uh, people who are using the radio uh, uh, we're using the hill so we uh, you know we like to not uh, not annoy other people if we can avoid it um, and then last, but by no means least, this uh, map case, compass, and um, that's a face shield. So if you come across somebody who's uh, collapsed, not breathing, whatever, just uh, gives you a little bit of uh, protection off that. So we carry that. Um, I used to carry all sorts of stuff, um, uh, field dressings and God knows what else. I've never found I've really needed them. Um, so I've tended over time to just drop those from the pack. But, um, you know, most of the time if you come across somebody who's collapsed and bleeding, you're just going to use a bit of your clothing and shove that on the wound and apply a bit of pressure, right? So 
that's it for the pack. That's pretty much everything. As I say, I'd normally carry water, um, a cup, of, a flask of a flask of tea, um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching.